What's going on YouTube? Mike here with another video and this is going to be a quick one. This is just me demoing sidecar on the new M1 chipped MacBook Air. It would be the same on the uh, Mac Minis, but I've had uh, some requests on this and this is also obviously running the newest uh, OS for Mac, Big Sur, so it looks a little different compared to what it looks like on Catalina. So you no longer have up here your um, little airplay icon instead they added this little guy here but to connect is pretty simple you just connect on that then you come over to where the display is click here and you should see your device so in my case it's my iPad mini click on that and it gives you the options here where you can uh, use a separate display or mirror so in this case I'm going to use it as a separate display now if you want to orient if the iPad is on the left or the right or top or bottom, you just go down here to display preferences. But in this case, it should be set up where it's to the left, which it is. So as you can see, my mouse transitions. And this is using a wireless connection. And one cool thing about Sidecar is obviously the MacBook Air does not have a touch bar. But if you open up something that uses a touch bar, then you get the touch bar options down at the bottom. And of course, there's no touch input just like you just like Mac OS except for along the sides here you know this is how you would close it bring up a keyboard and these are self-explanatory and if there's a touch bar option that comes up at the bottom so let me let me show you here so bring up YouTube so if I want to drag this over here and you can see I can't perceive any lag at all but the touch bar options automatically yeah, automatically came up. So for instance, this is what would show on a touch bar if I had a touch bar Mac. So that's pretty cool. Now, using sidecar on an iPad mini, obviously is probably not gonna happen as much as if you have a 12 inch iPad Pro, but it works well. Um, now when you do do something, the sound comes out of the other one. So uh, let's play a video. So what I'm talking about as far as the sound, so. MacBook Air M1. And you can go full screen. Apple just proved that Moore's Law still exists. Let's talk about it. But as you can see, you've got the touch bar controls down at What's the bottom. What's up, Mike here with another video, and this is going to be my... And you probably can't tell, but the sound comes out of the actual Mac not the iPad but again you got all the same stuff you got your stuff where you can scrub which is pretty neat so I can scrub you can pause whatever so whatever touch bar options you would have but so far this uh, works excellent I don't know how much I would use it with my iPad mini um, I'm sure there's a few use cases but it's kind of a cool on-the-fly way to have a second display on your Mac so you're doing other stuff so um, Pretty dang cool. And <clears throat> if you're not using a mouse, like I just showed, if you're using this to touch the, the actual mouse pad, you bring your mouse over here, you, you can do the same thing that you would do on your Mac as far as the swipe gestures and all that. It's all there. So pretty dang cool. So it works extremely well. So um, there you have it. Sidecar works on the new M1 MacBooks. Uh, without an issue. So if you got any questions, want to see more, just drop it in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you watching. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Thanks.